that thing down. Give me your hand right now. Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be talking about the grappler. In the video we're going to be breaking down today, we've got grapplers, we got cops doing drive-bys, we got a dude who can't shoot worth a sh**, and we got a couple of other things that should make you smile, laugh, maybe even pray for the giant asteroid, or all of the above. Guess what? Christmas is coming up, and I can't think of a better gift to give yourself other than financial freedom. My sponsor for this video is PDS Debt Solutions. You know what sucks being in debt? That's right. If you're in debt, you know what? You might be inclined to go rob a store, jump in your Buick LeSabre, get grappled by police, and then probably not make it. So get out of debt. That's where PDS comes in. If you struggle with credit cards, personal loans, collections, or medical bills, then I think you might need to check out PDS. If you're making payments and your monthly balances aren't going down at all, PDS can take all of those loans and roll them into one easy interest-free monthly payment. Anyone with over $10,000 in eligible debt, which let's be honest, and most of us has these days, qualifies with no minimum credit score required. Right now, if you go to pdsdebt.com slash donut, they're offering a free debt analysis. It takes 30 seconds you just got to click on the link in the description and the comments below or just go to pdsdebt.com slash donut that's right check out pdsdebt.com slash donut let's grapples wasn't that a cereal or something on rick and morty no it was something that, uh the steely said we got a bag of bobbish that's eight grapples oh brapples <laughs> same same thing same thing grapples but no. suspect's gonna get grappled you've probably seen the grapples from the grappler making its rounds around the internet the past couple of years here's a video of one used on a reckless driver in arizona here's another one in arizona used during a pursuit the grappler, the grappler. there we go they got him they got him. The grappler device. They got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. The grappler to stop the vehicle. again, working to perfection. Mm -hmm. I don't know why all of these are coming out of <laughs> Arizona, but here's another one out of Arizona. Hands out the window. According to the Grappler's website, they've got about 600 successful deployments so far. That's 600 people that have been grappled. Woo-wee, we're gonna grapple. If you haven't seen this very cool pursuit ending doohickey up close, basically the Grappler is a web of toe straps that gets wrapped around the tire of a bad guy's vehicle and holds them in place. Well, I happen to find another first caught on body cam. The first ever footage of the Grappler being used and then the officers inside of the Grappler car doing a drive-by. I feel like we're living in an opposite world lately especially the other day with that video i released of the suspect chasing the cop down and trying to pit the cop zebra 215 shot fire where are you at thompson and now in this incident that we're about to break down, we've got three officers inside of their patrol vehicle pulling a Chicago. I mean a drive-by. September 22nd, 2023, Indianapolis, Indiana, where this lady accidentally stabbed a baby while trying to stab a pit bull for eating her chicken sandwich. The baby's okay though. And you know what? I got a bit of good news coming out of Indianapolis. They finally unbanned throwing stars. Thank God I can sleep peacefully at night knowing all my ninjas are out there able to protect themselves. Oh, what's the deal? Oh my ninjas. That ain't cool, man. September 22nd, 2023, 9 p.m. According to reports, the Indianapolis Police Department covert robbery detectives were conducting a serial robbery investigation. Too many goddamn fruity pebbles were going missing, and investigators finally tracked down the suspect. It was 27-year-old Rick Tez. He'd been doing a bunch of robs recently, and then around 9 p.m., investigators saw him go into a store. Shortly after, he left the store with a bag. What's in the bag, you might ask? Well, I'm guessing Golden Grams this time. Our man Rick Tez has entered the big leagues. One of the detectives contacted an employee inside of the store who confirmed our boy Rick Tez had just walked out with a gun and did another serial robbing. He runs and jumps into a classic getaway car, an old piece of sh Buick LeSabre. Let's be honest, 
honest, you see one of these, there's a 98% chance it has guns, drugs, stolen property, or all of the above inside. Our suspect and his female getaway driver zoom off with police tracking them. The investigators following them say to each other, you know what? I'm pretty sure these people mean business. He's got a gun and he's not afraid to use it, so why don't we call in the heavy boys? No, not more investigators. Heavy as in the dudes who have plate carriers and carry long guns. That's right, some SWAT boys. In addition to all the cool toys, they have the grappler. Grapples! SWAT is brought in to do the takedown on Rick Tezza's Buick LeSabre. Hey guys, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. YouTube hates me. <laughs> they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. First up, we're going to take a look at the security camera footage on the street that captured the entire takedown and subsequent shooting. This camera has a pretty good angle of everything that happened after the suspect got grappled. Get on the fucking ground right now. Give me your hands, ma'am. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Control, start some medics, please. It's a pretty good angle, but it's kind of hard to see what happens. So let's go ahead and break this down real quick with my high-tech crime scene recreate, recreation, recreation, recreational recreation software that's Gavin Newsom's trying to make it illegal in California. You piece of shit. Rick Tez with all his cereal. Police with the grappler. Concrete wall. I don't know why I'm coloring anything in. Like that makes any sense at all. Basically what had happened was is police car grappled Rick Tez. Rick Tez jumps out of passenger seat, gets about this far, dies. Driver bells, runs past Rick Tez around the wall and takes cover. Looks simple enough. Bad guy gets caught by the grappler. The bad guy and his girlfriend, Belle. They both get shot, but we can't really see much of the pursuit. Let's switch over to the dash cam footage of the patrol car with the grappler. All right, Kendra. There it is. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Let's do it. You got the radio, okay? Get that thing down. Get that thing down. Two people, guys, and he's doing something. That front seat passenger's doing something. He's reaching. He's yeah. What's it doing? trying to get the door out. <laughs> Well, that escalated quickly. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Let's slow it down so you can see what happened. The grappler comes out and it's a successful deployment. Get that thing down. Get that thing down. But as soon as the grappler is wrapped around the rear tire of the suspect's vehicle, Rick Tez pops out of the passenger window and starts shooting at police. This results in all three officers inside of the pursuit vehicle doing a drive-by on Rick Tez and his girl. Much like my last video, which is age-restricted, please go check that out while you can. This guy in the video, Rick Tez, can't shoot worth a shit either. I think I found a video of Rick Tez at the range recently. What's up, man? Hit a damn thing. You ain't hit It be like this sometimes, bro. It's like Helen Keller turned into a black man and then someone handed them a pistol. Let's take a look at the officer's body camera footage who's in the passenger side with the long gun who throws a ton of hate downrange as soon as Rick Tez starts shooting. What's it doing? <laughs> Go. 
Dalton, I got him covered. Please place him in handcuffs. Please place him in handcuffs. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me go up to Kenny. Go up to Kenny. Go up to Kenny. Hey, somebody start a medic. Sergeant Stewart here dropped an entire magazine into the suspect vehicle, reloads, and puts out a couple more rounds. Next up, let's take a look at the body camera footage of the SWAT guy who is driving. Get on the fucking ground right now. Give me your hands, ma'am. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Control, start some medics, please. Um, we're by Lucas Oil Stadium. We've got uh, we've got two shots. We need multiple medics. Um, put some. Uh, get a tourniquet. Find out where she's shot. Get a tourniquet on her. The driver of the grappler car jumps out with his service pistol and it looks like he gets a couple of rounds into Rick Tez as well. During the gunfight, the female who was driving the getaway car, the Buickle Saver with Rick Tez, is struck by gunfire. She's the one, like I showed you in my high-tech crime recreation software, dove behind the concrete barrier. From what she's saying, I think she's pregnant too. That's uh, it's pretty shitty of Rick Tez to bring along his pregnant girl to do robberies and then shoot at police with her driving. What a dick. Somehow, after a volley of about 40 five, five, six rounds and seven or eight, nine millimeter rounds, Rick Tez didn't make it. This incident was about 10 days ago, and from the most recent reports that I can find, it said the female was in critical condition. Go check out my last video where the active shooter gets flanked by police that one got age restricted after about three hours which really sucks if you want to help support the channel you can go on over to donutoperator.com get some super sweet merch or follow me on every other platform and until next time please have a fantastic day Quack.